This one is a great man. Uh, India at the moment, uh, uh, I addressed NASCOM, it's our mm -hmm. major agency in the IT. Yes. When I interact with them, I realized uh, now they are doing a business uh, so software industry in India, doing about uh, uh, 40, 40 billion dollars. And uh, the my aim, I told them, they must, they must have a aim. By 2010, they must uh, at least double it. Mm -hmm. uh, double it. Uh, so, then in that case, the type of uh, product mix, what they have to do, mm -hmm. uh, and also diversific diversification, mm -hmm. have to uh, change. Diversification, they have to do many diverse product diversification, they have to do. And innovation. Innovation has to drive them. That's the that's the feeling I have. The uh, and uh, also the type of uh, uh, partner countries, uh, the core competence of uh, one country to another country has been matched. Mm -hmm. Then new products will come. So how do you think? Um, do you think that global sourcing can actually be a tool uh, for innovation? That by, for example, if I am a, a company here operating on the domestic market, that by relocating my activities uh, to India, uh, that that is a sort of... I don't know the uh, uh, relocation. Now the virtual operation has started in a big way. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. a virtual institution. You can be anywhere. You can yeah. be anywhere. Products can move. After all, you are doing... Uh, and the your uh, products are uh, uh, light speed; it can move mm -hmm. anywhere, anywhere. Yeah. In such a situation, whether the institutions can move, mm -hmm. it all depends. Sometimes institution can move, sometimes can be the same place doing a virtual, uh, virtual cooperation. Mm -hmm. I visualize the following: there may be a, a product, uh, a design of a system, design of a system. Uh, there may be four countries uh, working working on that: the India, and uh, Netherlands, and uh, another country, another, for example, USA, uh, and uh, then uh, Singapore. The, all the four uh, virtually is a virtual institution. Mm -hmm. They can cooperate. They can yeah. cooperate. System design will come. System products will come. That's one 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 route. Another route will be, another choice can be that uh, uh, depending upon the business, uh, uh, abundance of the business, uh, operation requirements, service sector, service sector, then you have to move uh, where the, uh, 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 there is a demand for uh, service products, uh, you have to move an institution, you have to move place to place. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the type of product. Your design side, virtual institutions, where the service sector, one can uh, one can move to the closest where service needed maximum. Yeah. Did I answer your question? Yes, I yeah. think you did. Yeah. And but you wrote um, uh, your vision on uh, uh, to the two thousand two 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 zero um, uh, in nineteen eighty nine. 98, I mean. No, we, uh, we finished 96, we put forth. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, do you think from between now and then, has have things changed? Uh, are there things where you say, well, perhaps we should take that to the next level, <coughs> what you have written? When when we when you proposed India 2020 vision, at that time the GDP was 6% in India, 96, 97. Uh, today is nine percent GDP growth, and uh, we we said that uh, for uh, total for total uh, growth, uh, two hundred twenty million people to lift it up, twenty two percent of people who are below poverty to lift it up. We suggested ten percent GDP growth, ten mm -hmm. percent GDP growth and maintain for 10 years. We have reached 9% now. So next plan period, that is 11th plan period, we next year, next year, we expect 10%. But the most difficult charge will be how to maintain for a decade. You know, GDP 10% yeah. very high. 
So then you reach ten percent, maintain, uh, uh, maintain for ten years. That means the economy will be very very dynamic, dynamic activities. So we have to work very hard. Yeah. Very hard. Yeah. Answer to your question, we have to very work hard, but uh, what we forecast is very close. Nine, ten percent GDP growth needed. We have reached. The country has reached nine percent. For how to do that? <coughs> Well, sorry. For that also, we have uh, five areas we have identified. How to go to the ten percent GDP growth? Five areas we have identified. Those are? There are agriculture, agro food processing. Agro food processing highest priority. Then education and healthcare. Women education highest priority because of uh, uh, women education we found. Yeah. Uh, Regulate a family welcome. Small families will emerge. Third is information communication technology through telemedicine, teleeducation, and e-governance. Then infrastructure development. That's the crucial development. Infrastructure development. It uh, it governs all the other system. Then self-reliance in critical technology. All these five areas, if we move kind of together, mm -hmm. then GDP will be ten percent. That what we predict. And uh, government is going, the nation going through that exercise.